the british raj in india had changed the life of everyone so how could the pastoralist nomad be an exception their life also got affected by the various policies which the britishers made and the first of such policy was the waste land rules now the britishers wanted to make more and more profit and for that reason they wanted that all the grazing land should be transformed into cultivated land and on the cultivated land should be grown the jute cotton and the wheat therefore laws were passed to see that the grazing land becomes less and the cultivated land increases so that means there became scarcity of pasture land when there scarcity of pasture land definitely the nomadic pastoralist found it very difficult to survive the next act which affected them deadly was the forest acts earlier the forests were a gift of nature and god to all the people in india it was a place where anybody could move collect whatever he wanted and actually do whatever he felt like but the britishers imposed forest acts in india according to which the movement of the people was regulated and the entry and departure of the people also was restricted besides the number of days that a person could stay in the forest was also specified so that free pasture land which was available to the nomadic past to the nomadic pasture list was now gone now they had to actually bend down in front of the harsh forest laws which were made that means there was no land left for the grazing of the cattle the next was the criminal tribes act which was passed in 1871 segregated them from the main population and also gave a different feeling in the minds of the people the britishers always had great suspicion on the nomadic tribes and they considered them as criminals by birth and nature when such was the suspicion of the government naturally other people also started suspecting them and therefore they were labeled as criminals so they were kept apart from the rest of the population and the other people did not like to mix with them easily which meant a social boycott for them the next was the grazing act the britishers now did another dent to these people and that was they passed the grazing act according to which they had to pay for grazing their animals this was of course done to increase revenue but in the beginning it was given to the indians that they would actually collect the revenue and give it to the britishers but in the year 1880 the britishers directly started collecting the grazing revenue from the individuals and passes were given to them by wherein they could enter the grazing area and for every animal that grazed on the pasture land he had to pay a tax but of course with these come changes and with changes come new avenues and with new avenues come change in the life of the people which we are going to see in the next clipping